Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty North American Championship 2015 presented by Xbox. I am Derek, joined by Chance. Chance, day number two. Pretty good games that we saw on day one. Yes, sir. This is Loser's Bracket Round 1. We're going to have Aztec Gaming versus G4G Fear. Both of these teams, this is where one of their dreams will come to die as they are going to be eliminated from the tournament after this match. So, Aztec Gaming yesterday, we're going to jump right into the game. But Aztec Gaming yesterday had to play Denial, and they got 3-0'd, as you would, would expect from Denial. G4G Fear also got 3-0'd, but had some pretty close games, actually. And they were beaten by, I believe it was TR. And TR barely missed qualification. So TR is a very good squad, and G4G putting up a fight. It's going to be looking really good for this match. So right now, we're going to be on board with Clumsy, who's rocking the AR. Got a 12-point lead already in favor of your Atlas squad. Yeah, and we are also having some tech issues right now, so we're going to be trying to clear these, these up for you as quickly as we possibly can. Aztec squad is going to be consistent. Er, your Atlas squad is your Aztec squad. Got the little alliteration going on for you. So we're going to be hopping on board with Neos, who's 5-2. and two. All right, sorry about that. Getting confused which Xbox we we're using, but now we're going to get right back onto this. We're going to go ahead and jump aboard with Nasty G of this Aztec squad. And like you were saying, both these teams shaky starts on day one, both getting 3 0 Yeah, that did happen, but right now we're going to be on the Turtle Hill, and this is one of the most important hills for this hard point, is you can lock it down and get an easy 40, 45 seconds if you play it properly. But right now we're actually having some con good, good contest time as your Sentinel squad is going to be pushing up from pool and Aztec Gaming is going to be coming around the back. We'd like to see some players for Aztec Gaming actually go around and try and pinch this hill out, but it looks like they're just going to be trying to flood it initially. Yeah, pretty nice setup before we're going to be heading into that art room lobby, whatever people prefer to call it. But uh, like you said, it's going to be such a big hill. There are so many ways where you can really lock this down. And the really only option, if you get it good enough, if you have an AR set up on pool side, you're really going to have to focus on the gap and the back step's going to be the main thing. Maybe that lobby as well. But that is definitely a hill where you can get some time. But right now, it's actually going to be Aztec, the team coming from Mexico in the lead of this hardpoint match. Yes, and they've already got the early rotation down as they did spawn out from the Turtle Hill. So they're going to have the early time time from this lobby hill. We're going to have two players in the hill right now. It's going to be Nasty G and his friend. He's going to have two down for each squad. So right now, 35-28 lead. Really close match. All the players doing well so far. Yeah, definitely. Nasty G going to be inside the hard point as well as two fear players. But Nasty G going to be able to stay alive. Joined in there by Neil. So kind of being contested at the start of this one. But just an excellent job. Like you said, first on rotations. But now the spawns are going to be going in favor of this fear squad. And they really need to start to get some time off of this before we rotate into the next hill, which is going to be that bar hill. Second probably most important hill in this one. It's also worth mentioning, some of these players are actually veterans of the sport. You have Assassin, who two years ago in the Black Ops COD Chance qualified and got top five. He's an extremely good player, but unfortunately last year for Ghost, he didn't even qualify for the NA Regionals. So right now, you're going to be expecting him to come out with a vengeance, looking to go back to those top five finishes at COD Champs. Yeah, definitely 10 seconds left on this hardpoint before we do rotate to the bar. So if you do look on your map, there's going to be one player making that route, trying to go to the bar, but there's also going to be a player from Aztec inside of there as well. Trav's going to be able to win that gunfight. Now the key to this hill, you want to lock down that back garden area where the Aztec players are spawning because that's going to give you such an easy rotation going into that attic hard point. Yeah, you're exactly right. The spawns are mainly for this hill important for rotation as this is a, a widely contested hill. This isn't a hill where you're going to be able to pick up the full 60 seconds or even 45. Generally, it's going to be scrappy back and forth. So when it comes down to those last 20, 15 seconds, you're going to want to push out those spawns to the back hill or maintain those back hill spawns to begin that rotation. Yeah, definitely nice two kills there by Nasty trying to push onto that garden area, but still, Fear doing such an excellent job of holding down these spawns, and it's such a nasty setup. You get a player head glitching on that tree with a bow, you can really pick off those players when they're at that top ring area or they're running through the gym. It's going to be easy to get that, but right now, Fear still down by 11 points. I mean, this Mexico squad that really kind of surprised me. Nasty G, 10 captures already in this game. We're not even at the six-minute mark. Yeah, these stats are extremely similar for these two teams. Your top two slayers on each team sitting at 17 and 16 kills. Then you have two guys that are doing solid with 13. And then each player has one player, or each team has one player that is struggling a little bit. Trev at 9 and 17, not having the best of games. Although he does have three captures, trying to work it out for his team. And Massive sitting at 8 and 16. If either of these players can step it up, I think that's going to be the team that's going to win this first game. There's going to be a player to watch here in the flat. Uh, the back steps. That is going to be a play from Aztec Game. It's going to be clumsy. Has the IMR, but is going to be taken out by Trev. So, so far, Fear getting some pretty good time on this, getting the first 20 seconds of this hard point. Really holding this one down. Now the players from Aztec are going to be spawning on pool side. Going to be some big gunfights going down here. 
something I don't like that I'm seeing out of this Aztec squad to break the hills. They're either going to flood, or but when they pinch, they're not doing it coordinated. They're sending two in at one time, and then three or four seconds later, you're going to have your other two players coming around back. When you pinch a hill, you really want to hit all directions at the exact same time. That way, players don't have time to adjust in the hill and focus on the front and be able to turn in the back to pick up a two-piece or even a three-piece. You really want to do everything simultaneously and have perfect coordination. As we know, hard point, one of those games when you really want to break a setup, teamwork is going to be the biggest factor in all that. You can't really just go through and just solo your way through it. But we are going to be rotating back into this middle corner at hard point, neck and neck game so far. Only 10 points separating these teams. Yeah, it's extremely competitive so far. I really like what I'm seeing. Um, your G4, G4 your squad was able to lock down that hill quite well on the last rotation. And so right now we're going to be back to the scrappiness. We're going to see what these two teams can do the second time around. And I really hope that we can see Aztec game and clean up their rotations a little bit. Yeah, definitely. More of a contested hill here, so don't really look for a team to really dominate a majority of the time. But we're going to go ahead and jump aboard with Brock right now. Going to be inside of the hill. Going to be rocking that overclock as well as that trophy system exo suit. Right now, just getting up some nice kills there, getting some nice teammate support. Nice two-piece there by Brock. So Brock and Trev doing work inside of the hill. Yeah, Brock, you see, is running the selfish class where he's running overclock and it looks like Exo Mute, but sitting at 29 and 17, he's playing, having an outstanding game. And on this middle hard point hill, which is generally contest time, went on a six streak. So he's having six kills in the hill that's going completely massive for his team, and he is dominating Aztec right now. Yeah, the first team to gonna be rotated to this back turtle hard point is gonna be Aztec. Neos is gonna be inside of the hill, does have some teammate support. We're going to be back step, but they're pushing through gap. And just like that, Fear has been able to break this setup. But there's going to be one more player at the back steps. They clean him up. Now they really need to focus their attention on this pull hop and the lobby. Yeah, Fear rotating really well there, but they didn't even in a pinch. They did, and they did a great job, but they won all of their gunfights. So they were able to break it with extreme ease. Although Aztec Gaming coming right back. Neos is going to be sitting the hill in back purple. Clumsy picking up a two-piece with that IMR. They're breaking this back right away, and it looks like they're going to be able to pick up at least another 15 or 20 seconds on this hill to make it even again. Clumsy doing some work with this IMR currently on a three kill streak. Legend gonna pick up a nice two kills there to try to break this setup. Now look for his team to spawn. It's gonna be Brock pushing over the spawn, uh, the pool side, but he will be taking out Legend right there to try to pick up the kill as well. Only gonna be 13 seconds left. Now if you're fear, this is where you just wanna give up this hill. Such a close game and you just really wanna just fight for this next art hill. Yeah, and it looks like you already have players starting to rotate over back to that next lobby hill. We're gonna expect Aztec Gaming to do the same. A Little bit right on, late on this rotation. There's only three seconds late before you saw those Aztec Gaming guys start going over to this next next still. So Fear's going to be able to lock this one down and get these early initial points. And really, I think the issue for Aztec Gaming has really just been the rotations and how they're handling breaking these hills. They're still successful because their gun skill is extremely good. They're able to compete with gun skill, but right now their teamwork is just a little bit lacking. Yeah, majority of the time what we've seen, we've really seen Fear be the first people on the rotations. But the gunfights, it's been Aztec all around. They've been completely just outslaying them when it comes to those initial rotations on the hill. Nasty G, 13 captures, dropping the 30 bomb as well. So doing some excellent work for his team. But right now, Fear trying to lock this one down as much as possible. Brock is going to be inside of the hill. Yesterday, I had the, I cast it over this Fear team, and Brock was really the main OBJ player of the squad. Yeah, and right now we're going to have a really close game. It's going to be 144 to 148 as your fear has been catching up on this hill. Ooh. But it's been an extremely back and forth game as that is going to be four down for Aztec Gaming. So it looks like your fear squad is going to be able to pick up this scrap time to go into the next hill with about a 15 second point lead. Yeah, nice job there by Trev being able to clear out one inside of the bar, but the kills are going to be traded. So that bar area is open. Brock is going to be the player inside picking up one. Going to see another player by the tree, but getting his team support. Now Fear really trying to pull away with this one. Yeah, another really good rotation by Fear. They had the scrap time on this last hill and were able to still maintain and get the initial control on this hill as well. So they beat as time, and right now in the second set of rotations, I really like to see what Fear is doing. Yeah, definitely. They are still getting those favorable spawns, and that is really just what you want on this hill. So there's going to be 30 seconds left on this one. Score 174 to 148. Really starting to pull away with this one. And if they keep these spawns, I can see this game being over. And you saw Legend right there starting to heat up, too. He just went on another 6th Street. Yesterday, when he was heating up in Search and Show, he was going massive. There was three or four rounds where he got either two or three kills in the rounds, and he was having a dominant performance despite the loss without his support from his teammates. Yeah, Legend, one of those players like you brought up with Assassin, been around for quite some time. Just one of those players who can never really find a fit for a team, always really looking. So now he has a set team. 
trying to make a run for that champs, it's really where you want to make a name for yourself. To just really open up some teams' eyes to maybe pick you up in the future. But right now, it is going to be massive on the first rotation to Attic. And just like that, it is definitely, it's going to be this Aztec team really looking like they're set up. And it looks like they're ready to hold this down for quite some time. Yeah, we're going to have 38 seconds left. And Aztec Gaming has control of this hill. And they are down by 8 seconds, but they are catching up. Fear is going to have to break this in the next 10 seconds if they're going to want to win this. And Aztec's going to have to hold it down the whole time. But Legend's going to get a massive two-piece on this hill on Massive. He's going to be watching the back is the team from Aztec. Nasty G is going to be pushing up and breaking the hill. We're going to have contest time. 12 seconds down, Aztec Gaming. They're needing to control this for the rest of the time, and Fear's just going to need to contest. Yes, yeah, definitely. Legend is going to be inside of the hardpoint. Do some excellent work with this power right now. Spots the one player at the steps, and I believe this is definitely going to be game over. Now, mathematically impossible. Fear taking a map over Aztec Gaming when Aztec was really dominating a majority of that game. Yeah, honestly, I was expecting Aztec not necessarily to get blown out, but not to do nearly as well as they did. Only lost by 11 points, and granted their rotations weren't great, their teamwork was a little bit shaky, but they still played extremely well, and I'm very impressed by this squad so far. Slaying every player on fear, dropping 30 bombs or plus that. So excellent job by them. Right, and now um, this next game, we're gonna be going into a search and destroy on Detroit. And we'll be right back. <laughs> 